Hello students, today we start the lesson with a very interesting activity. Do you want to play game? Yeah, good job. I would like to divide the class into four groups, okay? Four big groups, group one, group two, group three, and group four. Each group, I will deliver a set of word cards for you. Mm -hmm. You will use the word card to make as many meaningful sentences as possible. And who is the fattest? Let's raise your hands and let's come to the board and stick and write the sentences. Are you ready? Okay, let's do it. Group number two, you are the fastest and here are your answers and the whole class. Let's check together. So, sentence number one. Uh, Khánh Nhi, can you tell me to read aloud sentence number one? Can you? Okay, good job. Okay, the whole class, sentence number one, any problems here? He goes out, although it is raining. Is it correct? Okay, I agree, it is correct. And what about number two? Can, me, can you tell me to read aloud number two? Though she gets good marks, she's lazy. Is it correct? Mm -hmm. Phúc Lan, so tell me the problems. Ah, very good. Do you want to change something in this sentence? Phúc Lan? Aha, uh -huh. okay, very good. You, according to you, you say that we have to change the position here. Okay, so can you help me to read aloud the sentence again? Okay, good job. She gets good marks, though she's lazy. Oh, okay, I agree with you. Correct. And sentence number three. Mm. Hanyi, can you tell me? Can you read aloud the sentence? Mm -hmm. Okay, Hanyi, any problems in this sentence? He is an amateur actor. However, he acts very well. Is it correct? The whole class? Mm -hmm. I agree with you. This sentence is correct. And the last one. Okay, Quang Anh, can you read aloud? Oh, very good. Mm, do you want to change something in this sentence? Oh, very good. Uh, in this sentence, according to you, you change the position of some word. She, he studies hard, however, he found the exam. Is this your choice? Is this your answer, Quang Anh? Mm -hmm. And what about you, the whole class? Are you okay? Are you okay? Okay, so I agree with you. This sentence is correct. Okay, so the whole class. Look at this. Look at this. We have some sentences on the board. And let's look at, let's look at the right word. Let's look at the right word. We have the word although. Mm -hmm. Although. We also have the word though. Mm -hmm. uh, and we have the word however. However. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any students, anyone can tell me the type of the word the type of the word, what about although, though, and however? Who can help me to tell me the type of the word? Hack me, can you? Oh, very good. Although, though, and however, they are the connectors. The connectors is something to connect two things. When we have two things, one thing, two things, and we have 
to connect it together and we use the connector okay and although is one of the connectors okay so for the grammar points i would like to speak in vietnamese so that you can understand more mm -hmm. với phần ngữ pháp thì cô sẽ nói thêm tiếng việt một chút nhé để chúng ta có thể hiểu rõ hơn thế thì như chúng ta có thể nhìn thấy là cô trò chúng ta vừa mới thực hiện việc là sắp xếp từ để ghép thành câu đúng không nào và các em có thể nhìn rõ ở trên bảng thì các câu của chúng ta sẽ đều có hai phần nhá à, nó sẽ đều có hai phần phần trước này và phần sau này và khi chúng ta sắp xếp thì chúng ta đã thực hiện nối hai phần đó vào với nhau và khi chúng ta nối thì chúng ta đã dùng một thành phần đó chính là các liên tử các em nhé thế thì trong ngày hôm nay chúng ta sẽ học về ba loại liên tử ba liên tử đó là although, though và however thế thì như cô vừa mới nói là những liên tử này trong tiếng anh thì chúng ta có một cái tên đó là connectors đúng không ạ thế thì liên tử này thì chúng ta có thể để ý cho cô là à nó dùng để nối những ý mang nghĩa trái ngược nhau và ngày hôm nay thì chúng ta sẽ học về cách sử dụng của các liên tử nối những ý mang nghĩa trái ngược nhau và các liên tử mang nghĩa trái ngược thế này thì chúng ta gọi trong tiếng anh là gì nhỉ là gì nhỉ ai có thể nói cho cô biết được không who can help me oh very good it is connectors of contrast Đấy chưa ạ? Trong tiếng Anh chúng ta gọi là như vậy nhá. Ok, are you ready? And now let's come to the main part of this lesson. Và bây giờ cô chào chúng ta sẽ đến với phần tiếp theo kem nhá. Let's open your textbook, notebook, write down the date and the lesson today. Remember you have to write down the, all the five sentences onto your notebook. Ok, and now we come to the next part. <cười> Boys and girls, as I have said to you, today we learn some connectors and you can see them on the board. We have although, though and however. Okay, and let's look at the colors. Mm -hmm. We have the yellow color for although and those and we have however for the blue color. Okay, and what is the difference? What is the difference? Mm -hmm. They are both connectors of contrast. But what is the difference? Can you tell me? Mm -hmm. Quang Anh, can you? Okay, good job. Very good, excellent. Okay, look at this. We use although and though to connect two ideas, to connect two contrasting ideas in one sentence. Okay. And we use however to connect two contrasting ideas in two sentences. Okay? Mm -hmm. Students, I want you to remember the form of although, those, and however. I would like to say it again. We use although and though to connect two contrasting ideas in one sentence. Okay? In one sentence, we have two clauses. Clause 1 and clause 2. And we use although and though to connect them. Okay? And we use however to connect two contrasting ideas in two sentences. And we have sentence 1 and however and sentence 2. Mm -hmm. Okay? Remember clause, clause, and sentence. And remember that. In clause or in a sentence, we have to include subject and verb. Mm -hmm. Remember. And now let's take a look at some examples. The first one, look at the screen. We have the first example. Mm -hmm. Anyone can help me to read aloud the first one? Thanh Nguyen, can you read louder? Okay, very good. So look at this. We have the first example. Although, although John Peter is an amateur actor, he gave a great performance in his film. Mm -hmm. And sentence number two, example number two. Phương Nhi, can you help me to read it aloud? Okay, good job. We have the sentence, John Peter is an amateur actor. However, he had a great performance in his film. Okay. And now I'd like to speak in Vietnamese so that you can understand more. 
Và bây giờ thì cô xin được nói thêm bằng tiếng Việt để chúng ta có thể hiểu hơn nhé. Thế thì nhưng chúng ta có thể nhìn thấy ở trên màn hình là chúng ta sẽ có hai câu, hai ví dụ đúng không ạ? Thế thì xét về ý nghĩa hai cái ví dụ này đều có nghĩa tương tự như nhau đúng không? Và cách sử dụng thì nó hơi khác nhau một chút. Ở trong ví dụ thứ nhất thì chúng ta sử dụng à, liên từ là although và dâu để nối hai ý đối ngược nhau trong một câu. Các em nhá. Thế còn ở ví dụ thứ hai thì chúng ta đã nối hai ý trái ngược nhau nhưng lần này chúng ta nối ở hai câu khác nhau. Và chú ý cho cô là hai câu thì chúng ta nhớ là mỗi câu sẽ có phải có dấu chấm. Còn hai ý trong câu thì hai ý đó chỉ nối với nhau bằng dấu khuẩy và cuối cùng chúng ta chỉ có một một dấu chấm mà thôi. Nhá, em nhá. Rồi, vậy thì chúng ta có những liên từ mà chỉ ý nghĩa trái ngược nhau giữa hai vế. Đó là although, though và however. Vậy thì although và though chúng ta dịch sang tiếng Việt là gì ạ? Ai có thể giúp cô dịch sang tiếng Việt được không? À, cô mời bạn à, Phương Anh. Ok, oh, very good. Như vậy chúng ta thấy là although và dâu dịch sang tiếng Việt chúng ta dịch là mặc dù. Đúng không? And what about however? Vậy thì còn however thì sao? Cô mời bạn à, Khánh Nguyên. Ok, very good. However, in Vietnamese, we say it as tuy nhiên. Đúng không ạ? Trong however trong tiếng Việt thì chúng ta dịch là tuy nhiên. Được chưa? Như vậy thì ngày hôm nay chúng ta đã học về các liên từ although, though và however. Và chúng ta nhớ nhá. Rồi, although và dâu dùng để nối hai ý trái ngược nhau trong cùng một câu. Và however dùng để nối hai ý trái ngược nhau trong hai câu. Kèm nhá. Và bây giờ cô mời các em hãy ghi lại cho cô công thức và ví dụ vào trong vở nào. And now it's time to practice. Okay, I want you to open your textbook and look at exercise number one. In this exercise, I want you to work individually. I give you two minutes to complete this exercise. Now let's do it. Okay class, it's time to check together. Okay, firstly, I would like you to swap your textbook to the person sitting next to you. And now I give you one minute to check your friend's answers. One minute to do. Okay, time's up. And now let's check together. So let's look at the screen. Sentence number one, who can help me to do it? Quang Anh, can you help me? Speak louder. Okay, good job. The whole class, do you agree? Okay, very good. And look at this, we have the answer. Although, although the questions were very difficult, he solved them easily. Mm -hmm. mm, I would like to ask you this question. Any students can help me to change the sentence into another way so that It has a similar meaning. Who can? Uh huh. Khánh Nhi, can you help me? Oh, very good. You change the position of although and though. And we have the second one, the second way. He solved the question easily, although, although they were very difficult. Mm -hmm. Good job. So, sentence number two. Raise your hand. Okay, good job. Phúc Lan, can you? Wow, correct is correct. So look at the screen. It is the correct answer. Although, though he was a great actor, he never played a reading role in a film. Mm -hmm. And who can help me to write the sentence in another way so that it has a similar meaning? Mm -hmm. Minh Anh, can you tell me? Okay. Uh -huh. You change the position of although and though. And we have, look at this. He never played a reading role in a film, although though he was a great actor. Good job. Next one, number three. Number three. Okay, hack me. Yeah, very good. Although, though, they spend a lot of money on the film, It wasn't a big success. Good. Mm, anyone can help me to change the sentence into 
another way. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Good job. Okay, we changed the position. Mm -hmm. The film wasn't a big success, although, although they spent a lot of money on it. Good. Number four. Mm -hmm. Number four. Khánh Nguyên. Okay, speak louder. Okay, very good. Although, though, the film was a comedy, I don't find, I didn't find it funny at all. Good. And what about the second way, Khánh Nguyên? Mm -hmm. Good. You did it very well. I didn't find the film funny at all. Although, though, it was a comedy. Good. And now we come to the last one. Sentence number five. Thank you. Can you help me? Good. Okay, good job. Although, though we played well, we couldn't win the match. Mm -hmm. And this way, you put although and though in the first position of the sentence. Mm -hmm. What about the another way? How about put although and though uh, between the sentence? Mm -hmm, good. Okay, we have the correct one. We couldn't win the match, although although we played very well. Mm -hmm. Okay, good job, the whole class. And let's look at the screen. Here are the correct answers. And let's compare with yours and write down the correct one onto your notebook. One minute for you. Boys and girls, it's time to play games. Do you like it? Oh yeah, let's do it. So let's look at the screen. Here you can see a QR code. Let's use your mobile phones and your mobile devices to scan for the QR code. Go to the website and now let's start the game. In this game, you have to raise and you have to choose the correct answers. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Okay, let's do it.
Okay, and now let's see who is on top. Mm -hmm. We have top five today. Number one, Ho Xuân An. Number two, Quang Anh. Number three, Long Vũ. Number four, Bảo Châu. And number five, Ming Nam. Congratulations. Okay, the student is in number one, two, and three. I will give you mark ten. And the student in number four and five, I will give you mark nine. Okay. So, congratulations again. Okay, so let's come back to the lesson. Let's open your textbook and look at the screen as well. So, sentence number one. Uh, in the game, you have chosen the correct answer. It is although and though. But now, I'd like to clarify for you more. So, look at this. Uh, this is one sentence, okay? And in one sentence, we connect to contrasting ideas. We use although and though. Mm -hmm. And what about number two? Number two, we have two sentences. Mm -hmm. And with two sentences, when we connect to contrasting ideas, we use however, remember. And next, sentence number three, it is one sentence. And one sentence, we used although and though. Mm -hmm. And what about number four? We have two sentences and we used however. The last one, number five, it is one or two sentence. Mm -hmm. We see that it is one sentence, only one sentence. And we use although and though. And let's write down the correct answers onto your notebook. Okay, boys and girls, and now we come to the group work activities. Do you want to talk, to speak to your classmates? Mm -hmm. And now it's your turn. Mm -hmm. Now I want you to work in groups of five. Mm -hmm. Five students. I will give you the number. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay. Each group, you have five students. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay. And let's open your textbook. Let's open your textbook and look at exercise number three. We also have five sentences. Mm -hmm. Student number one, you do sentence number one. Student number two, you do sentence number two. Mm -hmm. You work in groups. A student do one sentence. I give you five minutes. Mm -hmm. And now it's time for you to work together. Let's do it. Okay, class, group number three is the fastest. And now it's time to check. Look at this. Number one, group three. Can you help me to read aloud number one? Okay, good job. I read it again. I don't really like the film, though it's funny. Mm -hmm. Is it correct or not? According to you, mm -hmm, I think it's correct. But students, do you find any mistakes here? The spelling mistake, it is grammar correct, grammarly correct. But about the spelling, can you help me to identify the spelling mistake? Okay, Phuc Lan, good job. Mm -hmm. We have the problem with the word. Very good. Funny. We have double end. Okay, funny. Double end. Okay, and sentence number two. Group three, can you help me to read it aloud? Mm -hmm. Thank you. And I said it again. He felt very well. However, he still stays at home. Mm. What's the problem of this sentence? Hang me, can you help me to identify the problem? Good job. Okay, look at this. Felt the verb in past tense. Okay, but you use the verb stays in present tense. Mm -hmm. And we have to change the verb tense into past tense. Okay, change the S ending to ED. Okay, and number three. The film was a great success. However, I don't like it. Mm -hmm. Correct or not? Minor problem. Mm -hmm. It's about the verb tense too. Look at this. Was. 
in past tense. However, you use the word don't in present tense. And we have to change the word into didn't, okay? Didn't. Mm -hmm. Number four, group three. Speak it aloud. Read it aloud. Thank you. Although it rained all day, I went to the cinema. <laughs> okay, you went to the cinema. You like watching film. Mm -hmm. Okay, I agree with you. Although it rained all day, I went to the cinema. Okay, I agree with you. Okay, the last sentence, number five. Who can help me to read aloud sentence number five? Can you? Good job. Okay, I read it again. The music in the film was terrible. However, people don't like it. Okay, mm, there is some problems in this sentence. The first one, who can tell me? Hang me. Good job. The first problem is the verb tense. Good. Uh, was is in past tense and you use don't in present tense. Mm -hmm. But I think there is one, there is another problem in this sentence. Who can help me to identify? Phương Anh, can you? Oh, good job. It's about the meaning of the word. It's about the meaning of the sentence. Mm -hmm. Can you translate the sentence into Vietnamese for me? Phương Anh. Oh, very good. Okay, I read it again. Âm nhạc ở trong bộ phim thì rất là kinh khủng. Nhưng tuy nhiên mọi người không thích nó. Âm nhạc kinh khủng, tuy nhiên mọi người lại không thích nó. Thế thì như vậy là chúng ta thấy là có vấn đề về ý nghĩa đúng không ạ? Nhờ. Thế thì chỗ này chúng ta làm thế nào để sửa đây? Who can help me to change it? Who can help me? Uh, Phương Anh, can you continue to change it? Okay, good job. The music and the film was terrible. However, people liked it. And we have to change the word like into the past tense. Okay? And number five is correct. Thank you. Boys and girls, besides watching film, do you like watching game shows? Mm -hmm. Do you like watching game shows? Mm -hmm. I like watching game shows too. And in this lesson today, we're going to join a game show. Mm -hmm. Let's look at the screen. You can see the QR code and let's use your mobile phones, your mobile devices to scan for the QR code and go to the website. And let's join the game shows.
Let's see who is on top. Mm -hmm. Look at the screen. We have two students. Number one, Ho Sun Khang, and number two, Bai Phuoc. Congratulations, and you are deserve to get mark 10 from me. Mm -hmm. Clap your hands. Okay, students, let's come back to your textbook. Can you recognize that the question that you have just joined in the game shows or the question in exercise number four? Mm -hmm. Okay, and now it's time to take it again. So let's look at exercise number four. You have just chosen the correct answer in the game show. And now I want to make sure that you understand. Mm -hmm. So for the question number one, you can see that it is in one sentence. And in this case, we have to use, we have to use although. Mm -hmm. Sentence number two, this is one sentence. Mm -hmm. And we have to use though. And number three, I don't like running. I like swimming. This is one or two sentence. Mm -hmm. This is one sentence. But we do not have those and all those. Mm, how, can we, how can we fill the sentence? How can we fill in the blank to complete the sentence? Mm -hmm. Look at this. We have the option but. But in Vietnamese, nhưng. And in this sentence, we can translate into Vietnamese. Tớ không thích chạy, nhưng tớ lại thích bơi. Right? And number four, look at this. Number four. It is one sentence and we use although. And the last one, the last one we can see that we have two sentences. And in this case, we, we use however to complete the, bl the blank. Okay? And we have just complete the game show and we have just complete exercise number four as well. Mm -hmm. And we also complete the practice part. <laughs> Okay, boys and girls, do you want to work in groups? Mm -hmm. And now, in this exercise, I would like you to work in groups of five. I will divide the class into five groups. Mm -hmm. Each group, you will have five students. Mm -hmm. Group one, two, three, and five. Okay? And what you have to do, you have to make up a story. Mm -hmm. Group one, let's begin the story with the sentence. Although it rained yesterday, write the sentence onto the board. And group number two, you will have to go to the board and continue, continue, write sentence number two, begin with the sentence, although it rained yesterday. And next, group number three, continue with the sentence that group number two have just written down. Are you clear? Mm -hmm. I will give you five minutes. Let's do it. Boys and girls, it's time to check together. So, I will read your sentences. The first one, although it rained yesterday, I went for a walk with my friends. Is this correct? Okay, very good, it is correct. And next, although I went for a walk with my friends, we didn't say anything. Okay, okay, all right, good. Although we didn't say anything, we still laughed a lot. <laughs> okay, uh, is this correct? Mm -hmm. Good job. Although we laughed a lot, we didn't understand the reason why. <laughs> okay, okay, interesting. I see it's so interesting. Mm -hmm. And you have all correct sentences. Mm -hmm. And let's look. Let's look at the word. Uh, we see so many yellow colors. Mm -hmm. Yellow colors, we have one, two, three, 
sentences and yellow color. What is the group with the yellow color? Group three. Okay, group three. Congratulations, you are the winner in this exercise. Congratulations. Hey boys and girls, we have just learned a grammar point in this lesson. What is it? Phúc Lân, can you? Aha, good. In this lesson, we have just learned about the connectors. They are although, though and however. Very good. So, can you tell me the use of although and though and however? Hạnh Mi, can you tell me? Okay, good job. We use although and though to connect to contrasting ideas in one sentence, in one sentence, okay? And what about however? Mm -hmm. Khánh Nguyên. Okay, good job. We use however to connect to contrasting ideas in two sentences, okay? And now it's time for you to write down the homework. Remember to do some exercises in your workbook. Part B, you do exercise 6 and 7. And part E, you do exercise 1. And now it's time to say goodbye. This is the end of this lesson today. Goodbye and see you again.